But what's, what's also interesting is when you look at our global footprint, our global footprint, especially in Latin America and in Europe, a lot of that has been built upon um, precious metals, gold, silver. A lot of that has also been built upon um, construction and urban mining projects. Um, I, I can remember going back into the 90s, the late 90s, middle and late, late 90s, when when the initial work for the Panama Canal began. And they were, they were widening it so that they could get bigger ships through the canal. And as part of that, it wasn't just widening. They had to increase the size of the locks. And when you look at the... So some very precise... Uh, blasting going on there. Correct, because when you when you look at the pin stocks that are required to move the water from an upper chamber into a lower chamber to raise the lower chamber up so that the boat can lock through, um, it's it's incredible the amount of infrastructure that goes into a lock and dam project. Yeah, and um, as a kid that grew up on the Mississippi River in St. Louis and and seeing how barge traffic and river traffic it, it it's just incredible when you think about the sc- the size and scale of what you see on the canal. Yeah. And Austin Austin is his has been part of that Panama Canal project from the beginning and it's it's one of those things that they trust us, we trust them and as a result of that it it's it's a it's a long-standing relationship that is is valued on both sides. Well, a, a project like that, the, the the consequences of a mistake are, are huge. Yes. Right. You've got the infrastructure. So I, I've been to Panama before. I've, I haven't seen the Panama Canal, but I, I live right beside the Welland Canal. Yep. And when you see those ships go through and the mm-hmm. size of them, uh, you know, at a distance they look big, but from 50 feet away, they're enormous. But, but, uh, the the whole concept there of widening it so it's so dredging is pretty safe, yep. but actually, you know, uh, cutting the wall in an area that's that's heavily developed, uh, and and I know a little bit about how locks work, and the the whole system there with the penstocks with the structure that holds the locks it has to be expanded anyway. I'm getting into it's the point is that you've got to be able to do it right or you get into big problems.